Yo, what up? It's your boy. And we're back at it again with another Digimon Super Romo update. So as far as new Digimon goes, uh, Bakuman uh, or Tapirmon, however you want to call him, he was added to the game. It's the first new rookie in a while. There's three lines that of babies I give you him. The first one is the Nyaromon. Has a 14% chance. The second one is the Demi Maramon. Has a 16% chance. And the last one is the Tokomon. That has a 14.28% chance. Aside from just getting the rookie, we also got the um, Apostlemon, which is his champion evolution. And both Makuramon and Chohakaimon as his ultimate evolutions. Evolution rates are 85 and 10 for the ultimates. It seems like a very reasonable line. I don't know if it's very strong or useful at the moment. We'll find out. But that's basically it for the new Digimon. Uh, on the cash shop side of things, we got two new recipes added. Let me buy them real quick. These two recipes are for HP and SP shakes. I, I'm not sure if they are like super useful, but it is a good way to like, guarantee good stats for those. And as you can see the recipes on the screen, right? You only need the two fruits in the blender. That links up perfectly with the new events we got. One last thing that I forgot to mention is that like the Digimon on the rotation for this week, or rather this update, they're gonna be Palmon and Bun Beamon. So you know if you if you don't have a Canon Beamon team, this could be a good moment for you. There's also a new crown promotion for the duration of this update that was added like as soon as the servers went up and if you you're interested in that it could be good for you it's like decent value now on the events of this update we have two uh one does this daily quest on Nimon, which we'll get started on right now yep Talk to him again. And there it is. Let's see what he wants from us. So for this daily class, first thing you gotta do is craft 10 items. Any item. Open up the menu. If you need like recommendations of items or you're just starting out, you don't know how to open this menu, just press C in game. And the crafting menu menu will come up. And you can buy the cheaper lollipops at Mushroom Mom and just scrap those for the press. There we go. Now, after that, I believe it asks you to check your tree twice. If you have any cash shop trees, you can check those. But it can be literally any tree, even the regular one. And then the last thing you have to do is just uh, feed your Digimon. Here we go. One, two, and three. Go. So once you're done doing all that, just go back to the NPC. That's the Nemon Daily Pass. Now he's gonna give you um, two items. These items they they can't be used as they are, but they are used over here. The Swarm on NPC, you know the one, the one that sells the basic food and toys. For the duration of this event, he has a um, specific crafting menu. Right down here from the, like, right below the usual items you can make with it. That lets you um, exchange both for these new foods and for these crafting recipes. Now, if you're wondering what they are, it's just plus five uh, food that you can craft. But I'm just gonna get one recipe just to be sure. For the strength one, you're crafting exactly the same item. It uses the plus two fruits that you can get on your own. And one of the new items. I would say like if you've been playing for a while and you just want like to be able to craft 10 foods every day, this could go a long way, especially for the strength one. And that's it for this event. Do keep an eye out for like doing this every day. Because I find that this 
all of these food items uh, that you can get from this event, they are all very, very good. Especially the strength one. Mainly the strength one. But since it will all be deleted after the event, yeah. There's no rush in, like, stocking up on those. Just get them, use them right away, and enjoy. For the second event we got, it is over here with this Gatomon. This Gatomon needs some help. Help. We're gonna, we're gonna help her. There's a daily component to this uh, event specifically. So after we talk to the Gatomon, uh, she's gonna ask for the eight stones, and this is the main event quest. The daily part comes in with this uh, Paramon that just spawned right to the side. And upon talking to it, we just get a box. Now, this is a very simple and straightforward event. It has, like, after you get this box, you can pick one of the two rifts that you want to do. You can see the level of the enemy. Uh, I don't know if it's, you, like, let me zoom, zoom in for you. But one of them is level 80, the one on the top, and the, the one on the bottom is level 40. You can just pick the one you want to do. I'll pick the level 81 and just open it up. Now, like most of the event fights, this shouldn't be too challenging. Especially considering it is a level 80 boss, right? Oh, he's awfully close to me. <laughs> Not sure if I like if I like being this close to you, buddy. Oh yeah, one very small, like almost nitpick of a change. Is that you can see the HP numbers a bit clearer on the fights now. Even without like zooming into the actual enemy Digimon information. Just bringing that up. Like, just dropping that out there. Then once we defeat this, we get this black crystal. The experience potion is kind of nice. And... The, the thing to do with these crystals is destroy them. <laughs> these crystals are not allowed to live. Well, you're gonna go back to the main city and the anvil right here. And you're gonna scroll down to the crystal of your choice. You know, the one that you just dropped. And click. Oh no, I got your dark crystals. So you can get one of the eight uh, crystals and like... Be aware that these crystals are tradable, like even the item to dismantle them is tradable. So you can, in theory, do this quest on your alternate characters if you want to. Here's what this Gabon NPC comes in play. You can use six of the shattered crystals to get one of the specific color ones in a bound version. And this quest just asks you to get like all eight different colors of it. So all of these, right? This event quest is gonna last until the December 7 update. So like we got some time for this one. But make sure that you're working on these crystals because like if you only get two pieces a day, it'll take three pieces for one crystal, right? Or you get like guaranteed one crystal. I would say like stack these up until you have all of them because you never know when you're gonna look out on dismantling the pieces, right? But um once you do get them all, you can complete the Gatamon quest. Well that's gonna be it for this uh update. And lastly, um uh, let me show you some of the new evolution cutscenes that we just got added to the game.
Any though, look forward to seeing you guys on the next video and make sure you're taking care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one. Bye bye.